Uh, welcome to the Customer Experience Center here in Pune, uh, a brand new facility that we have set up uh, that is aimed at uh, showcasing all Vodafone's capabilities to our enterprise customers. Uh, this is set over 2,500 square feet. It showcases our network capabilities, our machine-to-machine -machine, uh, applications and the work that we've done in that area, our fixed line uh, business in the way that we've set it up recently, and of course, uh, the traditional mobility solutions. Uh, they're all on show out here. Uh, and we are looking forward to bringing many of our enterprise customers here and showcase much of what is available uh, on our network. What are some of your focus areas in the enterprise business? Well, we have uh, slowly scaled up our business uh, in the last uh, four years to be able to engage with a wide width of customers. So whether they be large multinational global companies uh, to Indian companies that have got scale, uh, to the smaller SME market, uh, and then of course uh, with our government customers. Each one of these has a very different requirements in how they engage with Vodafone. And uh, we have set up capabilities at a product service level, at account management uh, level, and of course uh, on a go-to market level. So uh, we are building up our presence in the market and uh, this has been our journey for the last four years. Can you share your plans in the mission to mission area? Uh, is India gearing up to you know, deploy these kind of solutions? Well, uh, Vodafone as a global company has a stated ambition to be the worldwide leader on machine to machine. A uh, lot of the developmental activities and the company's resources uh, go into building up this capability. Uh, we mirror those capabilities into India. So whatever is the development that is done at a group level, uh, those are available for us to deploy to our enterprise customers here. Now, in the Indian context, this is still a young journey. Uh, many of the large corporates uh, are beginning to just understand what does the machine-to-machine -machine capability actually bring in and how does it add in as value either to reduce their costs or to improve their revenues. Uh, we have a number of uh, use cases that we already have. For, for example, the normal post terminals or meter reading, those are very standard applications. Uh, we have a very robust engagement with Mahindra Reva on the electric car where our platform is used in our sims and our network is used to remotely monitor the car by its customer on battery management, where to recharge next, uh, even simple things like turning uh, AC off and on on a remote basis. Uh, similarly, there are other proof of concepts that uh, are in the marketplace, and I'm very, very confident uh, that as companies look for better ways to do things, machine-to-machine uh, -machine will be an integral part of what uh, companies will look forward to be doing. Regulation is one of the major challenges in the growth of mission-to-mission. Uh, -mission. How is the support or what is the response from no, the Indian uh, government? I, I don't think it's uh, so much a... Um, uh, constraint as much as the fact that uh, because it's it's a new part of our business that uh, many it, it's dealt with the same way as you would deal with for a mobile connection so we are actually uh, engaged in a very positive manner with the government to uh, realign the way that regulation applies for specific machine to machine sims now of course it needs to go through the regulatory process and we are very confident that uh, we'd be able to push this through in the foreseeable future but having said that, it's not a showstopper right now. Uh, while we do pro proof of concept, it's not that we have not been able to help our enterprise customers. But if we have to scale up, then the regulation has to understand that the needs of machine to machine are really different. But it's work in progress. Can you share some of your strategies to double your you know, uh, enterprise business in India? Well, I think it's uh, the strategies are around uh, two, three areas. Number one is to build a larger geographical presence. Uh, so India is a large country. How do we go out and even for example, engage with SMEs uh, that are across uh, the length and breadth of uh, India. They're typically operating in about 350, 400 cities. And most enterprise business uh, uh, head offices tend to be in the top eight or nine. Uh, reaching out to them is always a channel. So you, it's always a, a, a challenge. So you need to build out a partner ecosystem uh, of channel partners who can go out and talk to beautiful language. So that's one of them. The second part is uh, developing new products and services. So whereas we were essentially a mobility player, uh, we've extended to the fixed line space and uh, we are evaluating what type of play we would like to have in the cloud and data center space because those are again areas of traditional strength uh, for Vodafone. Um, and our cable and wireless acquisition on a worldwide basis uh, actually gives us many of these capabilities that uh, we did not have in India up to now. So. Um, there are many things that are beginning to come together to enable us to take this journey in a far more aggressive manner uh, in the next few years.